and we're back with another Disney Plus reaction um, because we have to look at all of them today and this was the official, f not official, but exclusive first look at the Falcon and the Winter Soldier um, I'm excited for this series because we're gonna see more interaction, more of the dynamic between Sam and Bucky um, and of course <clears throat> Sam Wilson was given the shield at the end of uh, Endgame, so we're going to see him grow as a new Captain America, but also I want to see what they're going to do with Winter Soldier, because he's still not completely, like, whole. And, of course, Baron Zemo's coming back, and then we have Sharon Carter coming back, so let's take a look at this, and let's see um, if there's, like, any kind of political intrigue or whatnot, and the struggles of becoming or filling the shoes of Captain America. Oh, the Sam. legacy of that shield is complicated. Mm hmm. Very true. It's very complicated. The world. It's upside down. What the? People need something to get behind. Symbol. Ooh. They need the symbol. <laughs> I called it, yeah. So what's our plan? Ooh. Ooh. So no plan. <laughs> 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 nice, nice. Always love action with the Falcon, man. Always looks really good. Oh, they incorporate the Captain America theme. I love it. In that cyborg brain of yours, you don't want to know. Oh, yeah, I can see it working. Gears turning. Oh, they're malfunctioning. They're on fire. <laughs> God, I hate you. <laughs> Only on Disney Plus March 2021. Okay. So, with all these trailers coming out, I like that they're giving concrete dates because everything got pushed back, but I think they're still on release schedule in terms of the order of release. But, uh,. I like the tone of this trailer because uh, obviously the weight of filling the role of Captain America is not easy. It's a, it's complicated, like Sam said, um, but it's good that it's not just Sam by himself, but Bucky's there with him because um, for however long they knew Steve Rogers, it's cool that they can kind of shoulder the burden together, even though Sam took the role, uh, of, kind of like took the role officially from Cap. But, um, new enemies, of course, and it was weird. What caught me off guard in the beginning of that trailer was how that girl, she was smiling before she put on that mask. So I kind of wonder if, um, what kind of mindset that they're coming from. And of course we have US Agent, who is like the more public face of like, oh, here's your new kind of symbol, blah, 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 blah. But in reality, it's going to have to be Sam Wilson and with Bucky behind him, so, or or beside him, I should say. But um, I wanted to see Baron Zemo, and then we got like one shot, but I want to see Baron Zemo with the iconic purple mask. We're going to see that in the show. Um, but I think this is going to be like that uh, fun kind of buddy cop espionage kind of show, good action. You always have good action with like the Falcon and his wings. Um, but we're going to see probably some cool scenes with Bucky too, because he was trained as an assassin. So we're going to see that side of, of, you know, what goes on as well. Um, and you got to love Anthony Mackie and Sebastian Stan. Their dynamic, their chemistry, on and off set, it's great. It's so good. But, um, yeah, things I'm looking forward to are, like, how they're going to build off of the legacy of Cap. And how they're going to make it their own, you know. And will we see Bucky use the shield? Maybe we'll see. Hopefully, we get some teases with that. But what does everyone think of the trailer? What do you um, What do you think of uh, Anthony Mackie and Sebastian Stan as Sam Wilson and 
Buggy Barnes respectively. Are you also excited to see Zemo? What are you excited for? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for sticking with the channel. Thanks for watching another video, and I'll see you in the next one.